seven. Yeah. Uh, now it's 19 minutes past six. It is early. Thousands of healthy pigs on farms might have to be culled in the next few weeks because of a shortage of skilled workers at meat processing plants. Uh, Nina is on a pig farm in East Yorkshire for us this morning. Morning, Nina. Yes, good morning. Uh, we're just between York and Bridlington, uh, sort of in between those two places, if you know them, yeah. Uh, I'm surrounded by 2,000 bacon pigs. Um, they're about six months old. They're at the point now where they should be being taken away to be processed so that the next generation of piglets can come in to be weaned and reared. Um, but there is a problem, a big problem in that process that you may well have heard about. So there is a shortfall of around 15,000 meat processing workers in the UK, around 9,000 of them butchers. Why is that happening? Well, it's something we're hearing in lots of industries. Um, EU workers going back to their country of origin because of COVID, because of Brexit, and they're not coming back. And on top of that, some UK workers leaving the industry because of lockdown and then deciding not to come back. Some people are asking, why not just recruit locally? Why not bring in more UK workers? Well, there have been efforts to do that. Wages have gone up in meat processing by about 12%, but there simply aren't enough people to go around. And what that means is these guys are blocking the spots for the next piglets to come in. And there are some very difficult decisions ahead for lots of farmers. In all, it's estimated by the National Pig Association that 150,000 pigs may have to be culled in this way. And at that point, that meat will not end up in a supermarket shelf. It will not end up in your home, in the fridge. It will be wasted. And this is a, you know, these guys are weeks away from that decision having to be made. Uh, let's speak to Alistair then, who's a journalist. Um, he's the editor of Pig World. Very difficult to quantify, isn't it? But how widespread do you think this problem is? Oh, it's right across the industry. I mean, I've, I've been covering the pig sector for more than 20 years, and this is absolutely the worst situation I've known. Uh, I think you mentioned 150,000 pigs potentially cold. That's how many are backed up on farm. Uh, the problem is farms like uh, Kate and Vicky, they've, they have contingency plans uh, in terms of what they do with, with space where they put pigs. They are now, they've now... Uh, we're hearing that some farmers, and as you say, it's still, some farmers are now starting to, to, to cull pigs, uh, to thin, up, thin out the herds. Uh, we're seeing that on a low level, uh, and as I say, it's right across the country. Pig farmers are desperate, uh, and if it doesn't get better, uh, in, if there isn't support, including from the government, in terms of support getting workers into the plants, we're going to, we are going to see a mass cull. Just very quickly, people will look at them and say, it is so wasteful. Why can't they just be processed here and then sold to local butchers, for example? Yeah, well, that's just not practical. I mean, you see that here. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, you need a license to, to take them to these to these plants. These plants have to be licensed, and you know, just in terms of the, the practicality of doing it, it, it can't really be done, sadly. And at the forefront of Alistair's mind and of the farmers here, uh, Kate's mind, is that these need to be processed in a way that is as humane as possible to be done properly. It has to reach welfare standards, and that's where the problem is have told us that they are listening, that they understand the challenges of the pig industry and they're keeping it under close review. But here they're saying, yes, they agree, it would be great if they could fill all the roles with UK workers, but it doesn't solve the problem now. And the problem for farmers like this is desperate. Nina, thanks very much indeed. We'll talk to you again soon. It is 23... No, it's not. It's, it's uh, October. You Back to you. <laughs> Northern Lights. <laughs> uh, oh. 8.47 is the time. And now for something entirely different for you, because uh, thousands of healthy pigs on farms could be culled in the next few weeks because meat processing plants are short of the skilled workers they need to try and turn them into food. Nina is on a pig farm in East Yorkshire for us this morning. Morning to you, Nina. Uh, good morning. We are uh, in East Yorkshire this morning at a farm not far from Bridlington on the coast, if you know it. And come and have a look. These are bacon pigs. There are around 2,000 of them here. At the moment, they're about six months old. This is the point at which, in normal times, they'd be taken off to be processed, freeing up space for the next generation of piglets to be weaned and reared. But that cannot happen as it should do at the moment. I'm just going to come away a little bit because they are quite noisy. Let me explain why. Uh, there is a shortfall at the moment of around 15,000 meat processing workers, around 9,000 of them butchers. Why is that? Well, it's lots of the reasons we've been talking about in various industries. Workers from the EU returning to the country of origin and not coming back because of COVID and because of Brexit. And also local workers perhaps leaving the industry over lockdown and not coming back. 
Um, people have been asking, they've been getting in touch with us and saying, well, why not recruit here? There are plenty of people unemployed. Efforts have been made. The wages for meat processing have gone up by about 12%, but there simply aren't enough people to go around. And that means that while these are here, the next lot cannot come through. And it's putting farmers in a real dilemma for what to do with the bigger pigs. The National Pig Association estimates 150,000 pigs could be called unnecessarily so they won't then be processed, they won't end up in supermarkets, they won't end up in plates. It sounds incredibly wasteful. Uh, let's speak to Kate and Vicky who are the farmers here who are living this situation day to day. We spoke to you a couple of weeks ago. The clock is ticking, you're getting closer and closer to that point of culling without purpose. How are you feeling? Uh, it's very stressful, um, it's emotionally draining, uh, financially crippling, uh, and we don't know what's going on. Uh, the government say that they're talking to industry, but we've been talking about this to, to you guys and the general public for over a week now, and we're no further on. And, and we don't know which direction this is heading in. It's just, there's no light at the end of the tunnel whatsoever. Kate, okay, Vicky mentioned the, the finance around it, but ultimately this is a welfare issue, isn't it? It's about making sure the pigs come to the end of their life in the way that is as safe as possible and as humane as possible. Exactly. We produce these pigs because we've got a contract to do, produce them and they are going into the food chain. And that's, that's all up in the air at the moment. You know, we just need them to come back and tell us that, yes, they're going to help us or they're not going to help us. Because we need to plan now. This is emotionally draining. And I'm not sure that I can carry on like this for another week or two because we're just, we have no idea. We, yeah, we really need somebody from government to say, actually, yeah, we're going to help you. We're going to get some, all we need is some skilled butchers to come back. We're not asking for money. We're just asking for some butchers to come back so that we can get our production system up and running again. At the moment, we're in no man's land and it, and it is very stressful. I just want to put to you what the government told us. They say they are following the situation, but farmers are responsible for maintaining welfare. It's up to the industry to make these jobs more attractive. These pigs shouldn't be going to waste. That's, that's just absolute load of rubbish from the government and a complete lack of understanding on their behalf. It, it's not our fault that we can't send our pigs to the processing plants. We have all our things in place. We have our staff, okay. our working conditions. The processes are short of butchers, yet we're the ones that are being left with the consequences. OK, thank you, uh, Vicky. Uh, just to say, you know, these pigs, they are getting bigger by the day. It's getting more expensive for the farmers and more uncomfortable for the pigs. The clock is ticking and at the moment it's very difficult to see how this will be resolved. Nina, thanks very much indeed. Nina with the very latest situation on that pig farm.